the Philadelphia Eagles with A.J. Brown. Like saying A.J. Foyt. Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, the greatness of Quez Watkins. And they even mentioned Jalen Rager, adding some speed behind them on the depth chart. Who gave him this list, Howie? Oh, my God. Jalen Rager is part of the top wide receiving core. According to Pro Football Focus, this has got to be. Hey, who put this list together? Holy cow, man. Yeah, I think Marco Folks is, Fultz is better than Jason Tatum. And let me, you know, we'll get rid of Jimmy Butler too. What the hell? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I got you, kid. I got you, kid. I, I, hey, remember, Big Sills is the co- Big Sills ain't a caboose. We're an engine here, kid. Okay? How you done? All right. The reason I brought that up is because I want to show you sometimes what perception means and how people who are just trying to get like clicks and shit and views and not really throwing any context out. I'm going to give you, I'm not going to go all 32 NFL teams. I'm going to go to top 15 teams. Pro football focus just came out. The 2022 NFL receiving cores and the rankings for those teams. Are you ready? The Minnesota Vikings are ranked 15th with Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, KJ Osborne. They got them ranked 15th. Remember that. 15th. New Orleans Saints. Chris Olave, Jarvis Landry, Michael Thomas. That's a pretty good looking group there. Or 14. Top wide receiving cores, according to Pro Football Focus. Seahawks, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. Too bad, no quarterback. Cowboys, CD Lamb and Michael Gallup. I don't think so at all. You don't get Gallup back until October. The Steelers with Johnson. And Claypool. And they had Pickens. Okay. Not a bad group. Top 10 wide outs. Wide receiving cores. Cortland Sutton and Tim Patrick. They think are better than the guys in Minnesota. That's re- That's buffoonery. Number nine, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. And their quarterbacks, Justin Herbert, though, ninth best. These are the best wide receiving cores in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus, the Bible of the NFL. Buffalo Bills. Emmanuel Sanders. And Cole Beasley are no longer there. You have Gabriel Davis, Jamison Crowder, and Stefan Diggs. Number seven, the Rams. Cooper Cup, 
Allen Robinson. You don't believe in hearts. Oh. The 49ers, Debo Samuel, number six. George Kittle. And Danny Gray. Number five. The Las Vegas Raiders. Devontae Adams. Hunter Renfro. Darren Waller. The number four. Top. Wide receiving core in the National Football League. The Philadelphia Eagles with A.J. Brown. Like saying A.J. Foyt. Devontae Smith. Dallas Goddard. The greatness of Quez Watkins. And they even mentioned Jalen Rager. Adding some speed behind them on the depth chart. Who gave him this list? Howie? Oh, my God. Jalen Rager is part of the top wide receiving core. According to Pro Football Focus, this has got to be a, who put this list together? The Dolphins are number three. The addition of Tyree Kill along with Jalen Waddle. They got a good tight end there, too. The Bucks. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Cade Otten, and the Bengals, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and Tyler Boyd. The Eagles are the fourth best wide receiving core, according to Pro Football Focus. Okay. Okay. Seriously, Xander's like, dude, seriously, man. You know the guy that emailed you and texted you? That's got to be from Bob Lang's desk. <laughs> a, a Jalen Rager making any kind of list for Philly, unless it's a cut list, is absurd. <laughs> oh, my God. But I'll tell you what they've done. Here we go. This is what we're going to do here, my friends. Pressure's on the team to win the NFC and also Jalen Hurts to be an MVP candidate or he doesn't keep his job. That guy's got to win. Tw- Here's what Jalen has to do this year. With all this hype, you guys got way more hype than the 17 team. We can't just let that go by the side. Pro Football Focus is saying you got one of the top five wide receiving cores. Wait a minute. Hang on for a minute here. Let's take a look at this. Oh, Xander is right. This is gold. So wait a minute. Let's take a look at this dish. Oh, God. Wait a minute. I got to put all my thoughts in a row here because, wow, the expectations just kicked up a notch. Oh, this is splendid. So you've got one of the easiest cakewalk schedules, 31st. You've got the number one running attack. Now you've got the number four wide receiving core in the National Football League. I mean, hey, your quarterback is one of the top-rated quarterbacks in the NFC, according to CBS. So they're se- so your quarterback's ranked seventh in the – what was the number? I want to be fair and right. Yeah, he's ranked seventh. So, today we found out that the Eagles have the fourth best wide receiving core, according to Pro Football Focus. You have the seventh best quarterback in the NFC, according to CBS. You have the number one rushing attack in all of football a year ago. I mean, and you got the shittiest schedule next to the Cowboys in the league. 
Yale says no worse than 10 and 7? 10 and 7? Whoa. 10 and 7. Okay. I got I got I got to I got to redo my my expectations here. I got to redo my expectations. The 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 fourth best wide receiving core, Jalen should throw for 4500 yards. <laughs> 35 touchdowns. And win 13 games. 12 and 5. 13 and 4. Michael says rent's due in September. Not according to these guys. These guys, hey, these guys here are getting an extension on their on their rent. <laughs> these guys, these guys right here are why the economy is the way it is. And that consumer price index is up. Oh man. Oh my god, inflation. Inflation has hit this Eagle team hard. Look at this. Number one, offensive line. Number four, wide receiving core. Number seven in this NFC quarterback. Um, number 31 in strength of schedule. Shit, dude. This is a Super Bowl team. Drew goes, I hate list. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I hate list. Oh my God. But now you hate list. Wait a minute. You're on it. You're highly rated. Why are you talking so negatively? It's not me. I'm just going by what folks are saying. Your honor. Why am I being indicted for what others are saying? Okay, why am I being indicted? If Hurts wins, it I will literally cry. I'll be right there with you. <laughs> I'll be crying. Trust me. I'll be crying too, Dylan. I'll be just like this. I, 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 I just, unbelievable. Spikes is stopping sills. I see what you're, <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> What do you mean what I'm doing, Spike? I get it, buddy. Expectations. Stop attacking Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jadis. I appreciate it. Tell those people to stop attacking me. Dylan, who's your boyfriend? Carson Wentz. There you go. Good night. <laughs> stop attacking Dan. Congratulations to you, Dylan. Really happy for you, man. You find people who love you in your life. Good for you. Cabana boy, go get me a towel. It's just a list. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jadis, you're putting the pressure on us? Hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Chris, be nice. Don't go there with that. Don't go there with that. We welcome everyone on our show. Okay. Don't go there. It's not cool. Okay. Listen, I don't No. This is not a, um, a Democrat or Republican show. This is a sports show, which means everyone's invited. Just like in a stadium. I tell you guys this all the time. Sports is the only place where you can have heterosexual, homosexual, Republicans, Democrats, liberals, whomever you want in a stadium or rooting for one thing, sports or your favorite team. Okay? I don't exclude anybody. Okay? You even got Aussies. All right, man, you guys play a great game down there that I love. It's rugby. My daughter is a superstar on it. 
Razor, see, you're being political with it, you know, and I want to respond, but I'm not. Absolutely no politics, William. We're talking about your expect. Oh, I see what you guys are doing now. You're using Dylan. Dylan, they're using you right now. Because I brought up all the expectations on their Eagles. Dylan, don't let them do it to you. Don't let them do it to you, Dylan. They got a, they got a number one running attack. Okay? We got the fourth best wide receiving core. We got a schedule. All I'm telling you right now is, what's your expectations now? Others are saying it. Hey, you know what, Xander? You know what you said to me a couple days ago, or maybe even a week ago, okay? Okay? Remember what you said to me? Sills, everyone's going to start jumping on what you said about winning the NFC. Don't you think this is what this is right now? Okay? Sills got us in the Super Bowl, so we can... We could... Sn oh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a Hey, 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 hey. Okay? Jada says, has us going 17-0. <laughs> hey. So here's what I'm saying. Xander, Xander, what's your prediction on the, on, on the amount of wins this year? Okay? What's the amount of... What's the what's the amount of wins this year? Thirteen and four. Jalen's forty five hundred. Um, thirty five touchdowns. Wow. <whistles> Man, that's a lot, dog. Okay. Twelve and five. 11 wins, not sure. 15 and 2. If we go 10 and 7 to the NFC Championship, does Hurts get Josh Allen money? Never. They'll never pay him that. They'll never pay him that. They'll, they'll walk away. They, I'll tell you this. GT, watch this. The Eagles will, will never get into a position. Boy, that's really a great topic. Do you think the Eagles would ever pay $50 million for a quarterback? You think that owner would pay $50 million for a quarterback? Not knowing who he is. Dude, anybody could say I'll pay Pat Mahomes $50 million today. You didn't know that coming out of Texas Tech. Shit, they thought he was just a reckless guy with the football. He didn't have a winning record at Texas Tech. And every time scouts went down to watch him at Lubbock, they watched this guy fall all over himself, including the coach, Cliff Kingsbury. You think this organization's ever going to pay a guy $50 million a year to play the position of quarterback? I don't see it. I, I don't. I think they'd rather be on. Now, look, how about this? Do you think Jeffrey Lurie would pay Donovan McNabb if McNabb was in his prime today? Do you think he would pay Donovan? Mc... Huh? I say this. If McNabb played in today's NFL, McNabb would make – would McNabb make Josh Allen money? Would McNabb make Josh Allen money if he was in today's NFL? Yeah, I think so. If you said Cilio and he was playing today, how much money would you pay Donovan McNabb? I'd be like this. I'd pay him what Dak's make him. I think he's better than Dak. Do we agree? McNabb's better than Dak. If you had to pick a quarterback to win a game, who would you take, Dak Prescott or Donovan McNabb? 
they're kind of the same guy. Donovan's probably a little more mobile. Dak might be a a hair more accurate. Okay? Might be a hair more accurate. (laughs) You, You know what, man? Don't ever do anything effed up in front of Xander. Because if he if he does, man, it, it it won't be something he'll hold against him. It'll be something he'll beat over his head against him with. He'd be yakking before every game. Oh my God. I would pay Donovan $45 million today in today's NFL. I would. Okay. You think Jeffrey Laurie would pay that today? You think the owner of the Eagles would pay $45 million to a quarterback to quarterback his team? Say it was McNabb. Davy Boy says he's just had better receivers. That could be. I, 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 I concede that. That can't hold his jock strap. Why not 45 million, Dan? McNabb would get around 41. We gave Wentz 120. It's true. I'm just wondering if this owner here would is going to go out on a limb and spend that kind of dough. Okay? I would never pay McNabb $45 million. Wow, really? You would really? You would never pay him that? Well, McNabb's better than Wentz. He's better than Wentz. I wouldn't, but that's just me. So then you don't really see them then, Xander. You would trade them for number ones. So you're never going to get into a position where you feel comfortable in Philadelphia with a quarterback. Maybe this is by design. Maybe this is by design. What's the two? What's the most expensive position on the team it's quarterback and the Eagles have proven they can win without an elite quarterback I like McNabb but not 45 million maybe this is by design maybe the Eagles aren't really going to look for frontline guys to pay gigantic money to because they've proven they can win without it we've seen precedent where other teams have won without hey by the way Is Matthew Stafford elite? Would you consider Matthew Stafford an elite NFL quarterback? Would you? I mean, does not matter? Hey, watch this. What's the difference between Matthew Stafford and Kirk Cousins prior to last year? Same one loss percentage. Throws for just about the same amount of yards. What's the difference? Matthew Stafford is not in a, I I don't really know where to put Matthew. I think Matthew Stafford and Kirk Cousins are good football players who I wouldn't mind quarterbacking my team. I wouldn't have a problem with that, but I wouldn't look at Matthew Stafford and Kirk Cousins and go, these guys are the best quarterbacks in the game. These guys are elite. However, when you start to process their numbers, they do put up elite numbers. Think about that. Stafford and Cousins are the same guy. Okay? Matthew Stafford still has a losing record overall. And, you know, I know everybody goes like this. Well, shit, he had crap up in Detroit. He had Megatron. So, here... Matthew Stafford's had Megatron and Cooper Cup and Odell Beckham as his wide receivers, and you're trying to tell me that that guy hadn't won more ball games? I don't know. That guy's had some pretty good talent around him. And when people start throwing to me, well, he's an elite, I'm like, I don't know. I think he has really good numbers. They're great numbers.
Detroit was the difference. Stafford needs a good second half career. And this is the second half of his career. Hey, by the way, you can find the fountain of middle age. Rich Gannon found it in Oakland. Guy won an MVP after numerous stints with other teams. Kurt Warner found the fountain of middle age. After all those teams that cut him, you know, he lands in St. Louis. Guy writes his own history book in the second half of his career. So it can happen in the second half. And I agree with you on Stafford. Stafford looked like an elite quarterback this past season. He beat Brady twice, won the Super Bowl, came back from points down in the fourth quarter to win a game after losing Beckham. That's elite stuff. It's totally elite stuff. However, when you look at his overall record, it's not great. But there's another example. And if you're the Eagles, why would I spend $50 million on a quarterback where all my salary cap and the majority of my cap goes into that one dude? Look at what they did in Baltimore with Joe Flacco. They had to start getting rid of guys like Anquan Bolden. They had to start jettisoning guys on the football team like Ed Reed because they couldn't afford those salaries. They walked backwards, then they drafted the quarterback, and they got rid of Flacco. Putting big money. Look, I've heard Barrett Brooks say this. Having a $50 million quarterback and then a $25 million wide receiver, it's not really – did you see what uh, Kevin Demoff said today? The guy who runs the Rams. Our business model right now is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. We can't keep paying this amount of numbers out and this amount of money out to players and thinking that this is not going to catch us eventually – when we don't have a core group of guys. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he said. This is kind of what we hit on a little bit yesterday. I think you got to get exceptionally lucky when you're talking these quarterbacks. Sydney, that's a great one. You don't have to be elite. Look at it. Look at Eli. Eli's not elite. I know he's had elite moments. You beat Brady twice. I mean, seriously, in the game, too, which is even more insane. Andy says, if Hurts, and Andy, this may be exactly what you're talking about here, okay? This may be exactly what you're talking about. His elite moments are good enough to shut you up. Two Super Bowls, MVPs, versus Brady. I, I, you're right. And he's not overly spectacular in any of his statistics. All right, it's top of the hour. D-Gun's going to join us in hour number three, 5.30 Eastern time. We'll reset everything. I want to continue picking this up because maybe this is going to be a philosophy of the Eagles here moving forward at the quarterback position. Jalen actually may be exactly what they're looking for. He, he may be because I'll explain. Please hit the like button. Hour three, keep it right here on the National Football Show.